What's up guys, this is Brett here from brettdev.com coming at you once again from Chiang Mai in Thailand. Now I haven't made a video for a little while, uh, I've been uh, busy for a couple of weeks. Basically um, I've got a course that I'm working on and I've been working on it for a long time. Those of you who follow the channel know that I'm creating it. It's just evolved and evolved and evolved and got bigger and bigger and bigger and it's now going to be free as well so that's what I've been doing I've been working on that for the past couple of weeks I kind of made a commitment to myself that I'd get that done and I'd put everything else on hold up until that point including the YouTube videos and not only that but as soon as I did that I landed a couple of really big uh, client contracts so needless to say I've been working like a absolute madman but I'm back and I figured I'd make another video for you guys. I had a question come in in the comments and um, somebody was asking about web development and they wanted to basically know, um, can you become a web developer without learning to code? And it's an interesting question in 2017. And if you are familiar with web development will know that there are so many different themes and website builders that are available now that weren't available previously and it's a particularly interesting question because I have a ton of clients that do just that so can you become a web developer without learning to code kind of you can yeah um, you're not necessarily going to be a developer you're not necessarily going to be like developing um, plugins or intricate pieces of software but you can become um, what's almost opened up as a new kind of uh, career I guess you could say but you could become what's like a website builder right so there's been a big space in the market that's opened up for website builders and these people use um, various kind of like drag and drop builders inside of WordPress in particular and like I said that's what a lot of my clients actually do so they will build websites for their for local businesses and um, clients that they pick up and they'll use these drag and drop builders such as Divi um, or there, there's a whole bunch of them um, every theme has a different builder integrated into it pretty much nowadays so they use these drag and drop builders, they'll, they'll try and get the sites looking as they want them and then pretty much what they do is they come to me for any customizations that they need. So most definitely you can do that, you can start building websites not only for yourself but for clients without learning to code. You don't need to code to be able to use these drag and drops. You could learn them in like half an hour or an hour just, just reading the documentation, download the themes, learn to install WordPress, pretty simple. Um, but what I would say is if you're going to do that, if you're going to become a, a website builder and, and not a traditional developer, um, make sure that you have somebody that you can rely on, like my clients rely on me, that you can go to, um, who can make those changes should you come up against challenges um, that you can't kind of overcome. Like you may need to write some CSS code, you may need to modify some, some part of the theme with some PHP. Um, and also make sure you know the best practices for WordPress as well like how to create child themes um, you don't want to be building kind of websites using drag and drop builders um, using parent themes and messing up your client sites and things like that but um, yeah absolutely so that's, that's a really good um, anybody that wants to get into web design that's a great way to go uh, like I say like ha literally half of my clients that is exactly what they do half of my clients are web development companies that aren't really web development companies they're just like website building companies right um, so yeah I hope that answers the question like I say um, I've not done any videos for a couple of weeks and I'm not sure at what pace I can continue to put them out at the moment I'm gonna be a little bit slow probably for the next couple of weeks until I get this done um, but this course I've been working on for a very long time pretty much it's it's a course about freelancing and essentially what I've done is I'm I laid out exactly what I do uh, in my freelancing business 
I talk about how I generate leads, I talk about how I manage leads, how I manage sales pipelines, and pretty much how I make freelancing a long-term profitable and a sustainable business. And like I say, it's completely for free. If you're interested and you wanna know about it and when it's released, um, you can sign up on the homepage of my website and I shall let you know when it comes out. Until next time guys, this is Brett from brettdev.com and we're out, peace.